Hello everyone, and in this video, I am going to go over frames per second and limiting our game to a frame rate. And the reason why we want to limit our game speed to a frame rate is because our game is not going to run the same on another computer. So if I had it set up to where I had a box and I hold down the left key, the box will go left. And it runs nice on my computer. But if I gave it to you and you ran it, who knows? The box might speed up faster or it could slow down. And here is, that's pretty much why we want a f limited frame rate. So the game will run the same speed on every other computer. And we can achieve this by using the system time. So I'm going to create a class called timer. Source folder empty. Why? So I'm going to create a class called timer. And I'm just going to get rid of the constructor for now. We will make a timer somewhere in the near future. But for now, the timer class is going to have one method, and that's going to be a public static double get time. And this is going to return a system nano time. Make sure you cast it to a double. Now, this gives us the time. It's not wrong, but it's giving it to us in nanoseconds which is not something that we want. We want to use like regular seconds. So what we can do is divide nano time with 1 billion. Make sure you cast this to a double as well. And this will receive this will give us a second practically. So if it if we received 25.3 that'll that'll be 25 seconds and 300 milliseconds. Okay. So now we can go back into the main class. And we'll start off by coming out of the loop and creating a few variables. The first one is going to be a double frame cap. And this is going to be how many seconds we want, so divided by our how many frames you want to happen. So if I wanted 120 frames for every one second, we do 1.0 divided by 120.0. Or if we wanted for every five frame for every five seconds to display 10 frames then it'd be 5 divided by 10 5 seconds divided by 10 frames so i'm just going to leave it as 1 second divided by 60 frames that'll give us a nice smooth 60 frames per second and now the other variables Again, they're doubles. Uh, we're going to use a double time, and that's going to be timer get time, and a double unprocessed. Okay, so make some room up here, and we'll have a double time to timer dot get time, and we'll create a double passed and that's going to be equal to time to minus time since time to is larger than time and it's always going to be larger than time we want to subtract time into time to so we get a positive value okay now that we have done this we we'll use unprocessed plus equal past 
Okay, now unprocessed is the time where the game hasn't been processed yet. So, for example, if we were dragging our window across and we continuously dragged it, unprocessed would continue to increase in time. So, once we're done, we'll have another while loop which will loop through unprocessed and process everything for the time where it wasn't able to process stuff. So we can do this by having while unprocessed is greater than our f greater than or equal to our frame cap and then it'll go through everything within this. So now we want to tell that hey we've processed this so unprocessed minus equals frame cap okay and now after we do this we can take all of all of the that code and paste it in here so leave everything that doesn't have to do with anything rendering goes into our unprocessed loop and now there's one last thing to do so right now we have unprocessed adding past but the problem is with the way we have it set up right now is the game is going to exponentially get faster so a way we can fix this is by setting time to time two. And that'll fix our game. Okay, now we can go ahead and run. And what do you know, it works. It's processing everything correctly. And yeah, now there's also another problem. Now, what if we don't process anything during a loop? Well, then we're rendering a whole scene again. We're rendering a scene that hasn't been changed again. We've already rendered it once. Why render it again? And we can fix this by just creating a boolean within the loop and we can call it can render and we'll have it set to false first and now in the new while loop set can render to true now under the while loop of course set if can render and move the rest of everything else in this if statement. Now it's rendering when the scene actually changes. So there. Now let's actually see if we are going up to our target frame per second. To do this, we'll create a couple of variables, double frame time and an int frames. Oop. Frame time is going to act the same as unprocessed, except every time frame time is greater than or equal to one, it'll print out our frames. So under unprocessed plus equals past, go ahead and do frame time plus equal past. And then under the if can render, make sure you put frames plus plus. And anywhere in the new while loop, the unprocessed loop, go ahead and do if frame time is greater than or equal to 1.0 
we'll set frame time to zero and we'll print out FPS plus FPS or no that's not what I named it, it was frames right yes frames okay so this will print out our frames and don't forget to set frames to zero at the end otherwise it'll just continue to increase so every time frame time is greater than or equal to one which is one second we print out how many frames have passed during the second now this can be anywhere in your loop it doesn't really matter I just prefer to have it in the unprocessed while because I know this is where all the update code goes and stuff like that and now when we run we should have our FPS be printed out okay I hope you enjoyed and in the next video I plan to go over uh, more on the window so we'll be able to resize our window using a method we'll be able to have it set to be full screen we'll use window callbacks and good stuff like that and another thing do you think I should put all of this code on github so like if you ever make a mistake you can go over to the github page and see if you made a mis where you made the mistake just a thought hope you enjoy and i'll see you in the next video